Hello, dragon artists, and welcome to the Dragon Art Room. This week, we will continue our Draw Jeju series, focusing on the beautiful plant we can find right here on Jeju Island. So today, as I draw this beautiful flame tree, I took a little bit more of an abstract approach or a simplified approach. So I'm not trying to draw my picture to be realistic, but I'm kind of adding a little bit of style to it. So I placed a small black dot in the center and I'm using a marker, but you can use a pencil and then go back with marker. And then from there, um, that small black dot in the center is going to be the, the center of my flower. And then I have drawn the oval shapes around the outside of that dot and those are gonna be the blooms of the flower. So as I go back, I'm going to continue to draw more and you can draw as many as you'd like and also be creative. I'm using ovals, but maybe you would like to use a different shape. And then I'm also using a lot of different sized markers on this picture. So make sure that you have markers and black pens of all different sizes. And then you can be very creative with the lines that you use. So as I am about to bring in uh, the blossoms to the center of the flower or start to connect my blossoms to the, the center, I'm using a curved line, but be creative. Maybe you wanna use a zigzag line or incorporate some of the zentangles that you have. Now I'm using the curved line to try to add a little bit of depth we're incorporating that element of art space inside my line. And I'm also going to only draw two blossoms today on my picture, but you can draw on yours as many as you want. As I'm continuing to add these blossoms, I am going to think about where I want to place my branches. So we aren't trying to copy the photograph, but we're getting some inspiration from that. So you're going to need to find your own style. So through there, I am going to just draw one tree branch going through here, and I'm going to use a variety of sizes. Also, pay attention to how I'm overlapping. So I'm drawing, I'm drawing the, the line for the branches behind my blossoms and not drawing them right through. I want my blossoms to look like they are in front of the tree branch. Now I'm drawing another line and this is going to be the, uh, the depth of my branch. So I'm going to go back and color that in. So when, as I'm adding these branches on and I'm separating them and I'm using different sized lines, Think about how you might want to incorporate that into another picture. What else can you add to this to make this picture your own? So don't think that you just have to draw this flower. Be creative and incorporate this flower into another uh, picture of your choosing, of something that you want to draw.
this was my favorite part of the drawing is adding the little pollen stems onto my picture. So on each blossom I drew two pollen stems coming out. And remember that we aren't trying to replicate the picture, but we are. Gonna, this is an opportunity for us to be creative. So think about how you might want to change that. You could do that with shapes, you can do it adding patterns or zentangles. So this is just an, uh, uh, to guide you, but you, I want you to come up with your own ideas. 